Okay, so I've got a relatively uh, small moose billet here, and then I've got a, a whitetail billet next to it. Probably use the uh, moose for a little bit first. It's got a better head on it, but uh, see what happens. I have a tendency to use my abrader sometimes as a, a small hammer stone and preparing the platform on the opposite side just in case that looks kind of weird to folks. So I'm just going to keep trying to get some nice big flake removals coming off this side and try and leave as much cortex as possible on this. We'll just uh, see how that goes and see what the debitage looks like and then uh, Maybe I'll just turn it into a, a nice biface one kind of really flatten the piece quite a bit. Um, <clears throat> at this stage, the piece uh, before the uh, maximum width or the uh, maximum thickness was about uh, 55 to 60 millimeters. And uh, the piece now, it's, uh, it's about 30 millimeters in max thickness course to length is significantly reduced uh, sitting at 150 millimeters and the width is uh, 85 millimeters so we'll keep trying to thin it here maybe I'll zoom in so you can get a better look at the uh, flake scars on it you can see that a little bit better and uh, <clears throat> we'll try to, you know, get some large flakes to keep coming off of this thing. And uh, there's the platforms set up on it. Fairly stout, in some good spots. And maybe we'll try and get some overshot flakes to, to come off this face. This doesn't get too irritating with the zooming in and out. But uh, you know, have good platform selected, abraded it in the right way, and uh, there's one nice full face flake come off with not too much of this side taken off, but a uh, kind of a messy edge. <clears throat> so really have uh, good spots to set up on both sides for platforms now. So here's. This side has good areas for platforms that I prepared, and then this side also has good platforms set up. So uh, we'll just keep working along here, and I uh, guess I'll stop doing the zoom in, zoom out too much with the uh, flake removals. spacer flake in between this big brother next to it, but hopefully we can get it to go down and thin the piece a little bit more. Actually, let's catch its bigger brother right next to it on this side. First, it seems to be a bit thicker on this end. Might need to catch this other end first. Get it a little bit better. And that platform is way too low. <coughs> Alright, 
Let's see what we can do. It's pretty thick, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's too thick. Use a hammer stone. Yeah, it tinged a little bit on me. Not too bad. Okay. Now it should come off a little bit easier. Stop platform for a moment. I'll keep showing you some of the overshot flakes. So here's that one. It's gonna peel off there and approaches the other side pretty well. And uh, we lose a little bit of the edge there. So we got that first one here, got this one there, um, that little short almost a hinge flake there that kind of got in the way, but it's hard to reduce the thickness a little bit. <clears throat> so this side's looking pretty good. We'll just clean this up and then we'll switch over to this other side and get some flakes going the opposite going the opposite way. So we have to keep looking back at the viewfinder. Clean this up and then we'll uh, flip it over and start moving flakes from the opposite direction. Yeah, I'm a little bummed I broke that piece in half, but when they're that big, they're just so tricky to work with sometimes. Especially if they've already been flaked on a little bit and you got to set up your own way of flaking. Ah, that's all right. So I'm just clean this side up a little bit here. Take a few little infinite flakes here. Okay. <clears throat> That's looking a lot better. It's a lot cleaner now. Alright, so now we're flipping over to the other side and uh, trying to drive some off this other uh, platform I have set up. You do a little bit of a, well, I said I keep doing unifate or, you know, most of the thing on one side, so I'm really tempted right now at this point to, you know, take a, an end thinning flake off the side because this end is getting so thick and I don't want to, you know, take a big divot out of this side because then it'll make it harder to pass flakes over that direction. So it's tempting to do that right now, but we'll keep with the trend of, you know, just uh, thinning the one side, leaving the cortex on the other. So you go ahead and uh, <coughs> set up a good platform here. Sorry if I'm doing a crappy job of narrating and filming. It's the first time I've done this. <clears throat> so uh, I'll try and um, I'll get one flake here and then I'll come on the end and remove some of this thickness and then take one next to it. So do this one first. Yeah, didn't go all the way, but kind of came down a little bit. That's all right. We'll leave that mass in place for right now. This piece here next to it. Come to this end. The end is so thick, it just makes me nervous.
Okay, so I got the next platform. Got one set up here and one here. So take a small flake here, it'll line this one up, and then we'll shoot the middle and then we'll shoot that in. Okay. And I uh, always like to space my fingers so the arrows can travel more effectively. It's kind of a loose handhold. And uh, hopefully, it's I got a little bit of back end support so it doesn't truncate too much of this other side off. A little piece flew off here on the end, but that's a good bending for it there. Okay, so I'm going to fix the edge a little bit. Hopefully this is showing up okay. I'm going to remove a small little uh, spacer flake next to the next removal, and then that'll allow us to get a better bite on the next one. And this, uh, this platform seems a little wide and thick. Let me uh, zoom in and get a better shot here of this. So here's this uh, platform right here and it's a little bit offset of this Eris uh, coming down here. I'd like it to uh, fan out and come down, but uh, you can kind of see how it's uh, really thick and it's really a little bit too far below the midline, but uh, maybe it's good to show mistakes in this video and give you a better idea, but uh, I'll give it a whack. I'm thinking it'll probably either end up being a, a hinge because it's too low or it'll just be a real short subby flake, but maybe I'll get lucky if I uh, strike it just right. I'm going to hold it real low on my leg. And let's see if we can get a nice big flake to come off. Well, I take that back. I don't want to ruin this piece. Um, let's go ahead and we'll fix we'll fix the platform. And you can see how the, the platform should be. Okay, there we go. That's better. There's the platform now. Sorry to zoom in, zoom out, but hopefully this will help you understand a little bit better. So uh, now I've reflaked that platform, and it's uh, sticking out a little bit right here. But now it's in better line with this Eric's, and it's not as stout, and uh, should be able to take a good hit. So uh, I'll go ahead and grind the face, and then I'll. Uh, Grind the air there, and you can see how it's been ground now. And then uh, we'll take a shot and see what it looks like. Yeah, that's right. It's a little tricky doing this camera work and napping and trying to keep your head in the game. But uh, <clears throat> hopefully, you can get a nice big flake to come off in there. And right now, uh, I guess in case I break the piece, let's see, it's uh, 147 in length. Max thickness is 81. I mean, a uh, max width is 81. And uh, let's see here. Max width appears to be 21. So hopefully, this doesn't truncate the piece in half. Let's see. There's a Nice, uh, perfect flake went all the way across just like I wanted. All the way to the opposite side. And uh, hopefully you can see that. Just like that. So uh, hopefully a lot of these after following this will look just like this. And we'll get a nice pattern growing across the piece.
probably when it hits about uh, maybe 15 millimeters in max thickness, then I'll probably start reducing the other side. But um, kind of thought about doing it for this one after reading uh, there's an article on the Le Metro site, a couple different authors. Uh, Theory Aubrey and uh, Bruce Bradley, they were talking about there's a biface in there that <clears throat> looks like they just kept thinning it down on one side. Or it actually wasn't a biface, it was just a, more of a uniface with this cortex covering like this. So I thought I'd give it a try. Interesting to see how it works. Haven't really done this too much before, so usually I'm, I'm always uh, doing it totally bifacially. But uh, this is very useful, and I have to admit, sometimes with the Clovis style napping, um, definitely end up uh, doing more work on one face than the other, just because you want the sides to be uh, relatively flat.